Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julia, if this is your first time hanging out, and today we are not setting up anything. We're actually going to be looking at the first Archer and Olive subscription box that launched at the end of November. I personally love Archer and Olive, and to me, they're kind of like the apple of bullet journaling. So I was super excited when they announced this launch because I also love subscription boxes. So I was like, take all of my money, take it all. <laughs> this video is not sponsored. I don't even have an affiliate code. So I just wanted to throw that out there, full transparency and all. Um, I got this box a few days ago and I'm excited to show you guys all the things that came in it. And if you're thinking about signing up for the next box, hopefully this is helpful. I'm going to say right now, it was such a great launch, but there was one thing, one thing, that I wasn't really vibing with. So uh, stick around and see what that one thing is. So yeah, let's just, let's crack this thing open. Let's do it. So the Archer and Olive subscription box is shipped out quarterly, which contains exclusive items that you cannot buy individually on the website. And it costs $70 every three months. There are a lot of affiliate codes out there and most will give you 10% off bringing the total to about 63 US dollars plus shipping. It comes in this very beautiful mint color box and it does have some leaf and floral designs pressed into the box, which I think is a nice touch and elevates it quite a bit. Definitely feels on brand for Archer and Olive. In addition to what's in the box, you also get three months of Club a and which gives you access to some planning and creative resources. I haven't gotten my email yet, but after subscribing to the box, from what I understand, you will get an email with information on how you can access that membership. But okay, let's go ahead and open up the box. So everything is individually packaged in that Archer and Olive aesthetic, but this looks to be all new packaging. Let's pull out this gorgeous pencil pouch. So quick fun fact, I love mermaids. The Little Mermaid is probably my favorite Disney film, so right off the bat, this is checking some boxes. Extra points for it being like this holographic shiny material. So this pouch has two areas to store supplies in and it has an elastic strap on the back so you can attach it to your journal on the go. I must say this rainbow detail on the zippers is really cute. Love this. Alrighty, moving on. We have a four pack of washi tape and yeah guys, these are really beautiful and seem to follow the same color story as the pencil pouch. There are some mermaid scales in here, a moon and stars one, one with some floral patterns, crystals, rainbows, and stars on them. And ooh, this white tape with silver floral patterns all over it. Love that these are foiled and they're actually pretty beefy, like full size rolls and not like skimpy trowel size rolls, if that makes sense. Super happy with these. All right, guys, we also have some acrylograph paint pens in here. And okay, okay, yeah, these seem to be new colors as far as I know. There are different shades of purple in here and, and a chrome one, which I'm super excited about. They're all the smaller 0.7 millimeter tips, so cool. Yeah, it seems to be like everything follows an overall theme, which is really exciting because I love cohesiveness. And it makes me even more excited for boxes to come. All right, so I haven't busted these open just yet, so I'm going to have to activate these really quick and take a look at them on white, black, and the craft notepads. All right, so I have my dotted notepads out, and I'm just going to activate these by shaking them. You guys know my patience issue, so I shake them all at once, and then I'm just pressing down the tip until the ink starts to flow. And I'm doing that on some palette paper I have. But yeah, I'm just going through one by one and checking out how they show up on different colored paper. And, and uh, they perform as expected. I'm really loving how opaque they are and on the blackout paper, just so excited to see what can be done with that in the future. 
Also, the chrome is so magical and it's just so opaque. Love me some metallic flair and this is writing so smooth. Gotta love it. Yeah, I would have just been happy with this pen in here, but all of them are really great. All right, let's get into some of these boxes. All right, so when you initially get these, they are wrapped in like a white covering paper, but I was too excited when I got this box and had to take a quick sneak peek at everything before filming. So sorry the white paper is gone, but this is an exciting one. It's a mini blackout journal. I don't know what size this is, but here it is compared to a standard A5 journal. So yeah, it's a bit smaller here. It has 112 pages, whereas your standard Archer and Olive journal has 160 pages. I love how sleek this is, and honestly, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, so super open for ideas. If you have ideas, or if you wanna see some blackout spreads, let me know down in the comments. I'm excited to use this for, for something. Just love it. Yeah, so this one is a beauty. <sighs> okay, I feel like it's not like a legit enough to just say that. I don't know. Uh, basically, this journal is hands down the most beautiful journal I own. Just, I literally don't even want to touch it because I'm going to ruin it. But look at this journal, you guys. It has this beautiful fairy on a moon with stars. And of course, it's all foiled out. The pages are gilded with this like rainbow shimmery loveliness. So yeah, I can't get over this. And the whole journal is like that smooth vegan leather. So if you can't tell by my somewhat speechlessness, I don't know. I'm in love with this thing and slightly terrified to use it. But yeah, spec stuff real quick. Uh, it's an A5 journal and it has 160 pages. It's the typical Archer and Olive rundown, but kind of tricked out. I'm not mad at it. My boyfriend even oohed when it when I pulled this thing out. So yeah, boyfriend approved as well. Okay, and since we have this whole white journal thing going on that's bound to get trashed in my possession, Archer and Olive also included this really fun journal cover. It's really glittery, glittery, and it's like that jelly water glittery stuff that you can push around and move around, which is really fun. The back is just straight up clear, and yeah, let's put this on the journal and see how it looks. Yeah, this is pretty extra AF, but kind of love it. Kind of loving the extra. Uh, yeah, this is just super fun and pretty. All right, the last bit of the box are these two inserts. Um, they have some cutout headers and quotes as well as a project sheet that shows you how to make a dream board or a vision board spread. Very thoughtful touch here, and I do love that this was included. However, this is where the graphic designer in me is, uh, is screaming a bit. You guys, I promise I'm not being a jerk about this in the slightest, but I literally work on stuff like this on a daily basis, all day long professionally, and I couldn't help but be caught off guard by this, by this compared to the rest of the packaging in the box. It took me out of the experience for a bit and I didn't feel like it was as consistent with the quality um, with the rest of the box. Now this is definitely, definitely not a reason to like not get the box and I'm sure most people wouldn't think twice about this stuff but the design nerd in me just had to not only bring it up but yeah I think it's important to think about some of this stuff in bullet journaling as well thinking about margins, like this text is way too close to the edge of the box, thinking about legibility with your lettering and font choice. I, 
I actually thought this said disassembled at first glance. So all of this to say, I redid this insert to sort of show you what I mean and how this little bit of a change sort of elevates that unboxing experience, which I know we all just love. It's like Christmas. So yeah, I'm, let's let, let's do that. So I scanned the original insert and extracted the photos from it. I made a similar gradient using the same sort of mermaidy colors from the box and just added a rectangle up top for the header. I thought it would be cool to tie in those mermaid scales from the pencil pouch and washi tape, so I overlaid those lightly along the top and bottom. Now for the header. And most of the text actually, I'm just using the same font that Archer and Olive uses on their website. And for the word dream board, I almost said December board. <laughs> for the word dream board, I'm going to use a monoline script font that's not as bouncy. Um, it's still script, but it's just more legible. Of course, that bouncy hand lettering is super fun to use in your journal and just is just fun to do, quite frankly. But I think for something like this, you want to be able to read more clearly what you're making. That's why I'm leaving the majority of the page white as well, so we can easily see what we're making without having to worry about using white boxes to like force it to work and sort of let the photos steal the show here. Okay, I'm going to run the project introduction and materials down the left side of the page and place a little footer with the Archer and Olive logo down at the bottom left. Next, I'm just going to add the instructions under the photos and to finish this redesign off, I'm just going to pop in some little numbered circles in the corner of the photos so that it's easy to follow. And yeah, looking at them side by side, the redesign definitely looks like it fits in with the rest of the packaging. It's clean, it's on brand, on theme, and just looks more like the Archer and Olive that I think we're familiar with at this point. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Am I being crazy? Would you have noticed this? <laughs> Let me know. Again, I think this idea and this project is super awesome and was a super smart inclusion in the box, but I couldn't not say anything about it. Just got to be real with you guys. So yeah, there you have it. There's the first Archer and Olive subscription box. I'm beyond excited and pleased with all of the supplies. And now that this video is filmed, I'm super excited to use all of this stuff. Um, I would definitely say it's worth the money if you're an avid bullet journal junkie like myself or know someone who is planning and into stationery and that whole jazz. You really get a lot of value here. I think it was said that the box is valued at around $175, but I'm already itching to see what the Archer and Olive team does like moving forward with these because this is awesome. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more reviews and to see how I end up using some of the supplies in the future journal setups. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And if you like this video, here are a couple more I think you would enjoy.